Hello everyone, you're watching News Mongolia on MNB World. It's Monday, March 27th. I'm Batsir Namshir. Our top stories for News Mongolia. The grand final competition of the French Culture Days was organized at Ulaanbaatar Theatre. Reading books increase people's imagination and creativity. Village Francophone celebrated French culture in Ulaanbaatar Sukhbari Square on March 26th. For the news, stay tuned. The Village Francophone, a cultural event aimed at promoting the French language and culture, was held for the second time at the Sukhbari Square on March 26th. The event was organized by the Alliance Francaise in collaboration with the French Embassy in Mongolia. The Village Francophone, a cultural event aimed at promoting the French language and culture, took place for the second time at the Sukhwat Square in Lombard City. Organized by the Alliance Francais in collaboration with the French Embassy, the event showcased the rich cultural heritage of Francophone countries through a range of activities such as opera singing, video presentations, concerts, culinary videos and more. The event was well attended and provided an opportunity for locals to experience the French culture and language while also connecting French experts in Mongolia with each other. The opening remarks were given by the Ambassador of France to Mongolia, His Excellency Sébastien Surun, Director of Alliance Française, Mr. Nicolas Pubil Manali, and Representative of the City Council, Mr. Tumur Tumo. In his remark, Ambassador Surun highlighted the importance of cultural exchanges in strengthening the ties between France and Mongolia. It is very much a Mongolian event. Uh, we help drive it, uh, but with the help of the city, with the help of companies, NGOs, universities, um, government agencies here as well, uh, this is what makes the French language alive in Mongolia. And it's spoken by, we estimate, probably about 6,000 people. So about 6,000 people speak French. We are training, and when I say we, it's French, Mongolian, other institutions are training more and more people because we see that French, like any language, brings something more. Uh, it opens up employment, it opens up university, it opens up science, uh, literature, art, travel. So all these dimensions, dimensions are something that we can bring to uh, Mongolians through the French language. And today we are teaching language at the National Defense University. Uh, we learning French. There are uh, kids learning French in uh, school number one, just here next door, um, in uh, the National University of Mongolia. We also have uh, some people from the uh, OBEC, from the uh, National uh, Emergency. Uh, um, management agency learning French because we have a very big cooperation with them. The event included a range of activities aimed at showcasing the rich cultural heritage of the Francophone countries. The program started with an opera singing performance by local artists, followed by a video presentation on the French language and culture. A short film was also screened highlighting the contributions of French culture to the world and this was followed by a concert featuring local artists performing French songs. The event also included a culinary video showcasing the traditional French cuisine. In addition to the performances, there were also educational activities for visitors to learn more about the French language and culture. Visitors could interact with the representatives from Alliance Francais and participate in language learning activities. The event was well attended, with visitors from all walks of life coming to experience the rich cultural heritage of the Francophone countries. The event provided an opportunity for locals to experience the French culture and language and for French expats in Mongolia to connect with each other. This event is being held at the Sukhbari Square for the second year since 2022. Never before has it been held on such a large scale and being open to the public. Mongolia established diplomatic relations with France many years ago. There is a great relationship between both countries in education, culture and tourism. With the organization of the Culture and Tourism Day of this country, the residents of the capital will learn about French culture and history, as well as that they will be introduced to services and business organizations related to France. France will host the Summer Olympics in 2024, so travel companies are keenly promoting the event. The success of the event has paved the way for future cultural exchange between France and Mongolia. The organizers hope to continue holding the village francophone in Lombard city and promote cultural exchanges between the two countries. The number of students who visit their class friends in the Natsuk Dorj library keeps increasing. 
The people of this generation experience a globalized society alone. In this time, the words screen addiction has become a social fear and the role of the adults in the library is important as children develop their intelligence through reading. Children don't just come here to read, they can spend their free time wisely and make friends with like-minded people. It is said that each room is decorated according to the age of the children and enriched with various books, so it is interesting for the children. My teacher tells me to read books well, books are your true friend. When I didn't know how to write, I liked to have my father read to me. I come before classes and read with my friend. Reading a book gives a lot of confidence. When you come to the library, there are so many books you don't know and have never seen. I love to read those books. I like adventure and comedy funny books. I have a comic book series in my home. I have read 120 books so far. I've learned a lot from the books. All my classmates have a library card and started spending time at the library. If you spend 40 to 60 minutes a day reading books, your knowledge will expand. Books are a window to the world. When you stop reading, you stop thinking. There are many famous quotes related to books such as a non-reader lives only one life, but the book reader lives by the number of books he she reads. Therefore, it's important to teach children the habit of reading books from an early age. According to the academics, adopting this habit is most valuable investment an individual can make in himself, herself. To learn the national Mongolian language well and to have a wealth of vocabulary, the most important concept that is given to the new generation is to make yourself understood by others. It is important to correctly evaluate your abilities. Therefore, it helps the readers a lot from this point of view. India, Thailand and China lead the world in terms of book reading. The development of reading nation is also rapid. Therefore, in order to bring long-term development of the society, an environment that meets the needs of new generation of children and youth is urgently needed. The grand final competition of the French Cultural Days was organized at Ulaanbaatar Theatre on March 25th. On the occasion of the International Day of Francophonie on March 20th, the Alliance Francaise of Mongolia, in collaboration with the MC of France in Mongolia and other Francophonie partners, organized a series of French language and culture events at various favorite cultural sites of Ulaanbaatar. Between March 11 and 25, French language competitions were organized in secondary schools, universities and in cooperation with other institutions. The competitions were open to public in three categories, children, teenagers and adults. In the play 10 words of the grand final competition, 10 contestants competed with each other. The winner of the competition will be awarded with traveling to Paris, therefore various interesting stories regarding France and art performances. So the different content we will have today is like the poetry, singing competition and Dis-moi dis tell me ten words. So Dis-moi dis it's people uh, who write ten uh, according to, to ten words that are linked with the French ministry. They wrote a story and today they're going to perform the text that they wrote. So the idea is to play with the French language and to, to do some activities linked with the, the French language. The francophonie that we are organizing, like this year is the 24th edition, and uh, the, the grand finale is like one major event of the, the francophonie. It gathers all our partners, all the universities, the, all the places in, in Ulaanbaatar where we can study French, in Alliance Francaise of course, but also in several universities, National University of Mongolia, City University, University of Defense. So, this afternoon we welcome like the, the teenagers and uh, the adults, but this morning we had also a contest in the French school for the, for the kids. Two weeks where we celebrate the French language, uh, and I think uh, it's a vibrant language in Mongolia, also because it's language we want to share. Uh, we don't like to have people put in one box because of their identity, because of their language, because of their nationality. But the idea is 
an, an extra language, it's something else. It's kind of a gift, actually, uh, that connects you to a different culture, to a different literature, to songs behind me. Um, and we see that as an opportunity to be something more, not to be something reduced to one, one identity. And I think it's important these days when we hear people saying, well, if you speak that language, you belong to this country only and they have the right to claim you, to claim your territory. Uh, we have the exact opposite way of seeing foreign languages and our own language as something as open as possible. This activity is unique in that it unites all French-speaking and cultural representatives in Mongolia, embassies in Mongolia, training and research institutions, and French business, trade and tourism organizations. A variety of cultural activities will be organized as part of the French-speaking festival with the aim of promoting French-speaking countries and their culture in Ulaanbaatar. Uh, I performed the Champs Elysees by Zaz version because, uh, like, the Zaz version was the newest version of the Champs Elysees. It was like kind of pop music for the Joe Dassin version, so it was kind of like upbeating. So people will most likely to like this upbeating music. So I chose this song and performed it. I'm interested into like. Uh, R&B and rap songs because like French rap songs are like more different than the other rap songs so I uh, went to R&B and rap songs. The following activities will be organized during the 24th the French Speakers Day in 2023. You're watching News Mongolia on MNB World. Now let's take a look at Mongolia's current affairs. Genius world record holder and twin memory athletes and world champions Mung Shur and Ing Shur were invited to participate in the Chinese most watched game show, The Brain, and compete with two Chinese memory athletes. This show aims to find people with exceptional brain power. The participants compete against each other with brain power best challenges. In a task of memorizing the palm of a duplicated person, the twin girls successfully completed the task, beating the two Chinese athletes and gaining one point for their team of international athletes. In the Super Brain Show, the best of the world gathered together to guess difficult tasks in the shortest possible time and test their intelligence. For example, tasks such as multiplying multi-digit numbers by multi-digit numbers within one second and 1.9 seconds were included. The Chinese memory athletes have competed with and won against many foreign teams, including from Germany, Italy, Great Britain, Korea and Sweden. In addition, Mongolian memory athlete Ing Mung participated in this show and won the first prize in 2016. Over 300 million people watched that episode. The film Fall of No Return opened in Europe. Karamhans Tinung Irdin, who plays the role of Tuntule, received the Special Mansion Best Actor Award at the Swiss FIFF. Now let's take a look at the currency exchange rates provided by Mongol Bank. Now let's take a look at the weather forecast for the world's major cities. Well, that's all for today. Thank you for staying with us. We'll see you on Tuesday with more news and updates. Goodbye.